we argue that livestock really offers a key entry point to enhance women's empowerment. Look, women need to be there at the beginning of the conversation. I think a lot of the things with the COVID-19 in the beginning, the decisions that were made were often not including women. Ilri's vision and my vision is certainly to see 50% of Ilri staff being women. We are taking stock of what we know. We've been doing integrating gender analysis in livestock research for some years now. And what is important now is that we really look at what we have learned. What is it that we do not know yet and that we want to know? How do we improve the system and not just the woman? We're actually trying to bring all the methods that the CT has done on gender and make sure that they can be used by other people. So not just the CG, but the whole agricultural system. I do think it's very important that we also address the root causes of inequality. But I think we, there's so much work to be done there for sustainable and participatory change towards gender equality. Creating opportunities, ensuring that we remove barriers and so on to women's uh, advancement, irrespective of what role you're playing. It's very important for us as well to build the new generation of gender researchers. This is one of our important parts because if we have those, we can actually move forward. If we stop without and not build the new generation, we'll never get there. Let's make sure that gender is part of the food system transformation. And that requires leadership, that requires people with a vision. And the other part, besides leadership, I think is very important is perseverance. Perseverance, and I think every gender person will smile at that because that's the one thing we've had. We've constantly been, we've shown up, we've, we've been there. And I think that's still an important part of what we do.